Do you receive them? Yeah. I was he with him this morning, and uh, he sent me with his greetings and congratulates you for this wonderful work that has just begun. To me, I am not only excited, but I'm also one of the people who are very proud of what the church is doing today. Many people do not understand and they don't know that the mandate of the kingdom of God which is being established upon this earth and it will never stop is to make sure that the kingdom of God moves and the gospel of Jesus Christ is established upon the earth to every kindred, every creature, must know that Christ is the Lord. Amen. And I'm never ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. I pledge my allegiance to my God and I continue to praise this God and I continue to speak of him wherever I go. And therefore, I am saying today, I am saved and I'm an ordained pastor and I'm not ashamed. Many times in seasons and times like this, you'll find that uh, when it comes to, being an, uh, to paying your allegiance to the one who called you to a higher calling, you are ashamed. But I ask you, my children, never be ashamed. I have just been told when we were going around and watching this wonderful uh, creation of God, because this is G God's handwork. I was told it started from a vision and a dream of an individual who God put that dream inside them. And they started to see a need for the orphans to have a place where they can come and be loved and their lives transformed. And with that, God has continued to build the dream of our bishop, Gashengo, and his late wife and family. And he has continued to build on that dream and that vision. Now it has become a reality we can be able to see. Can we clap for our God? When I came and I was opening that placard and I saw what, plat what is written there, I could not help but read the Revelation 22, verse 16 to 17. Watoto wa shule hii mjue munabaraka na mungu anawapenda sana. To be called by the name of Jesus Christ and your institution to be called by that one, it can never fail. Say, we can never fail. We can only succeed. We can only succeed. And therefore, we are more than conquerors. So you can clap your, for your, the hand for yourselves. Conquerors, you are here. Revelation 22, verse 16 and 17 says, I, Jesus, have sent my angel to testify to you these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David, the bright and morning star. Yes. So who is the bright and morning star, children? Jesus. And so if Jesus is the bright and morning stars, you are the children of? Yes, and that is why you can say the bright and morning star is us because you are of Christ. Say we are of Christ. And therefore, like you have said very rightly, you are Jesus. That's why we are called Christians. We become him 
as we continue to, to receive the light of Christ to become bright and brighter and the brightest. Is that what we were reading? That you become bright and Yes, and therefore, the bright morning star is a school that I know is going to go far. Until Jesus comes, you should remain as one who is called, say we are called by Jesus. Do you love Jesus? Yes. And because you love Jesus, imagine you are going to excel, you are going to succeed, and you are going to be great men, you are going to be great women, and this land will know you. Don't you worry whether you came, I was told there is a Moses in this school. And this Moses was picked from somewhere, born in one day, and it was Bishop, our Bishop Gashengo that cut the cord. And that child here is already in form two. In form two. Can we clap for our God? So it does not matter where you come from. It does not matter who drew you away. It does not matter whether you have your both parents or one parent. There is one God who is your father, your mother, your friend, your savior, your redeemer, and he's going to take care of you. By our late mother and our brother, Bishop Gashengo. I believe that that is a symbol of mercy. And if anything is going to happen and there is going to be any development in our country, we must take care of the venerable in the population. Many of us want to make money and we can make money. But you can make better money if you can be able to support that which God wants to establish. And one of them is to take care of the fatherless and the motherless, the orphans, the widows, and the orphans that you see around you, you must take care of them. The second level is where you get the blessing of a school like this, and the partners come and bring their children, and now they can pay to give you a profit. But the greatest profit is the one that God gives himself. Can you clap for our God? <laughs> and therefore, brothers and sisters, the quality of teachers that you are going to put in this school we also determine the quality of teaching and students' performance. I believe that this school will adapt best teaching practices and also employ, the uh, 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 employ uh, that dedication that we need for and passion for our children to teach them with integrity. I don't know what has happened to our school an education system today. We need a system that is ingrained with family values. We need an institution that respects Christian values because when God is in a center of an institution, there is no way that institution can fail because it would be like uh, Israelites. And even though Barak and Baram decided they were going to curse them. What God has blessed, nobody can curse. They would go to seven hills. They go there, they, and they would only see God. And so they could not be cursed. It was not the Israelites who could not be cursed. It was the one who was in the center. Took it back to the ones who were cursing. Therefore, may God be the center. May God be the center of your family, and may God be the center of this school. Finding that, especially as teachers who are going to be there, you know these are children to be the future 
doctors, pastors. We must be careful what we are teaching them. We must be careful. Therefore, I am so happy because over the years, the, our education sector has been strengthened by the support of the state and non-state. The public and private schools have come up in different parts of this country and are many skills and knowledge development. It is my belief that the country today that most of the health clinics <laughs> the best of the that exist in this country actually Christians or even Muslim. You find where you find a Christian school, a Muslim school. <laughs>